In this video, we're going to begin our discussion of propositional logic. This is the basis for a lot of mathematics, and it can be a bit dry sometimes, so we're going to, have to go through some definitions and do what might be a bit boring, but making sure we have a good grasp of these will help us going forward with lots of things we want to discuss. So the first thing we're going to introduce is what's called a proposition. This is one of the smallest possible units you can use to talk about logic. It is just a statement that is either true or false. There are some sort of obvious type things you could write down, like my name is Nick. That is a proposition. You could write down things like I live in Columbus, Ohio. And you could keep going and write down more and more things that are things that are either true or false. Rather than list off a bunch of things that are propositions, it often is more helpful to list out things that aren't propositions. So an example of something that's not a proposition might be, what is your name? That is a question. Questions are not propositions. They are neither true nor false. Similarly, th things like affirmations, yes, no, are not propositions. Other things that aren't propositions are things like opinions, like Avatar The Last Airbender is the greatest show of all time. I can believe that to my core all I want, but it's still not a statement of truth or fact. Something like Avatar The Last Airbender is one of the best reviewed shows of all time. Maybe it's something that you could argue is true or false, but opinions are also not. So let's write that down. Atla is the best show. And these things are the foundation of mathematics. In mathematics, really anything you ever want to deal with is a proposition, something that is true or false. Things like theorems, things like writing down a mathematical equation. These are things that you're assuming are true or assuming are false at some point. And everything that we work with that when we want to be mathematically rigorous, we want to be a proposition. So for added clarity, I guess we can add little X's here to demonstrate that those are all bad. And maybe little check marks here to say those things are all good. So proposition, something that is true or false. And the main things that we are going to see that are not are questions, affirmations, things like yes, no, or even commands, you might call them like fetch me that thing. That's not a true or false statement. That is just a statement that you're requesting of someone or things like opinions. Those are the most common things that are not propositions.